Welcome to another episode of Right Now Leadership. I'm your host, Kyle Gillette, and today I'm very excited to bring to you a topic that many of us have dealt with in the past and probably right now, and that topic is the struggle when our routines get broken and how when a routine is broken, the discipline often goes out the window as well. (laughs) As someone that's trying to lose 20 pounds 25 pounds actually, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes when my routine routine is thrown out because now I don't have the food in the same way, I don't have my exercise in the same way, but that's okay because this method, this approach will help you to fix any of those lack of discipline moments as you're dealing with your travels, as you're dealing with work travels, vacation, whatever it is, this will help you. Now this came from a conversation I was having with a client about his own discipline frustrations when it came to him traveling for his business, traveling uh, for vacation, and how he would lose his diet and exercise routines. So we dove in on this a little bit, and this was over the course of a 15-minute conversation that we got to the whole process here. He was able to get a real clear resolution and press forward uh, in powerful ways. So I'm going to walk you through that process because you can apply it now and You can come back to this video if you're driving and take some notes, but it's really pretty simple and pretty straightforward, so you may not even have to take notes. With all of that, it starts with, first of all, understanding how you do the problem. Okay, it's kind of a funny question, but it's a question that I ask my clients often when they give me something that it's a struggle. They say, well, how do you do it? Whatever the struggle is, well, how do you do it? How do you do the problem is the first question. You're trying to discover your own pattern of of behavior. You know, what is what is behind this pattern so that I can understand what I'm doing? A, a way to look at it is go, okay, if someone were to notice that you've broken your routine and then they were to say, hey, can you describe exactly how you broke your routine? What is the model you use to make sure you break your routine? I know I'm being a little facetious, but I really do want you to answer that question. When you break your, your routine, what is the model that you follow? If you're going to teach it to someone else, then you're going to get clarity on how you do the problem. Second question is, how do you not do the problem? Right? So you're going, okay, there are times when you're on vacation, when you do stay disciplined with your diet, your exercise, your workload, that, you know, when you're on vacation, you do the work amount that you said you would do <laughs> versus way too much. So what is that routine look like? What If someone were to ask you, what is the model? How do you do that? How do you not have the problem? How do you stay disciplined? Describe in detail that model. Figure that out for yourself. So how do you do the problem and how do you not do it? Answer both of those questions and that will move you forward to now be able to get to the third question. The third question I asked him had to do with the root cause. When was the first time he had ever experienced this? So we dove into it, and it turns out that the first experience was way back in high school, where he was trying out, and it wasn't trying out, he was on the football team, and a senior came up to him. He was a stud senior, knew he was great at football, uh, actually made it to the pros. So this guy was the man, you know, and told my client that, hey, you should be on the varsity team. But he was only a freshman. He couldn't be on the varsity team. So that was one of the first moments where my client went, oh, okay, I'm great. I don't have to work as hard. That's the decision that was made in that moment. Right or wrong, that was the decision that was made slightly and unconsciously that he said, well, I don't have to work as hard. I don't have to put the effort in because this guy approves of how high a quality of of player I am. And so therefore, the level of work or the level of effort I put in doesn't need to be as high. Now, this isn't always going to happen for someone. You make that decision. It's not always going to be like that in every single situation. But it started to pay forward or not really pay forward. It's kind of a negative thing. Go forward into other areas of life and particularly when routine was broken. Okay, so he knew the first time there's another incident as well that was kind of reinforced this thinking behavior. Okay, so in the long run, this is going to create a negative pattern, right? What is it for you? 
right? So if you if you ask yourself the question, if you're you're going, what's your current challenge? What you have some routine, some some discipline that you'd like to maintain, but for whatever reason you're not. What is that for you? Wherever it is, whatever it is, I want you to go through the three questions I mentioned to you. I'll say them again. How do you do the problem? What's the model? Exactly, exactly how do you do it? How do you not do it? Exactly how do you not do it? And third, when was the very first time that you did it? What was the circumstances? Who was there? What did you see? What did you feel? What did you hear? So that third one is a bit of a, a kind of a visualization, meditation, I guess you could say, exercise, which really leads us to breaking the negative pattern. You go through these questions, you've done a lot of reflection, maybe you've written it down, maybe you've journaled, whatever you do, now you're in a place where you're already reflecting. So take the next step and jump into the future. You've been thinking about the past, now jump into the future. Now, I know this sounds kind of funny, but... You can do this in business too. You think about the the results of past performance in business, past customer service, past sales. You can do it and go, what is the model that we follow to get those poor results? What is the model that we follow to get our good results or to not get the poor results, right? Ask yourself those questions and that will help you unlock what's wrong with your personal routines or lack of discipline, and what's wrong with the business systems and procedures, right? It's about the details here and really reflecting on it. So when you jump into the future, now you're going, okay, I know I'm going on vacation. I know my routine is going to break at the end of this month or sometime in the upcoming weeks or months. Just before, you know, a few days before you're going to break your routine, basically, I want you to visualize the successful completion of these routines and the discipline that you want to maintain, okay? So you're going to take just a couple minutes, literally just a couple minutes, 30 seconds to a couple minutes of going, all right, I'm having, I'm going on vacation and I know when I go on vacation, I struggle with having too much, I drink too many drinks or I eat too much food or I stay up too late or I work too much, whatever it is. Now, visualize that you ate just the right amount or visualize exercising while you're on vacation or visualizing, visualize having great sleep and waking up refreshed. Do that, right? You can use the second question was, which was, how do you not do the problem, right? So when you do it right, when you do it well, I want you to visualize that success, okay? The second step here to create a, pa- a positive pattern is to feel what it's like to stay disciplined, okay? So you can feel it from current experiences and then you can also project it out to when you're on vacation, you have this delicious meal, but you don't overeat. What does it feel like to have that delicious meal, but you didn't overeat? Or what is it like that you went on this vacation and you only worked just the right amount and got just the right amount of work done? If you're even going to work on vacation, which you probably shouldn't. (laughs) But what does it look like, sound like, feel like? is ultimately what you're answering and picturing as you successfully complete these routines. And then once you've got it set and you know it and you've got it in your mind, then lock it in like you're sealing Tupperware. That sound, (laughs) whatever the sound Tupperware makes, seal it in. And then you're going to want to do this each day that you're in the middle of a broken routine. Each day you're on vacation or each day you're kind of out of the normal pattern of day-to-day living. And this will help you to break the pattern and embed this new pattern. Fundamentally, though, what you want to do is now that you've got these three questions answered, how do you do the problem? How do you not do the problem? When was the first time that you did the problem? Once you get the answer to that first time, I asked my client to spend time reflecting on that. And I walked them through a very specific process to to do this. And I, I'm not going to do it on this video or this audio because it's it will take too much explanation and you might get lost in it. But you can do it on your own by basically going, asking yourself, what is the lesson to be learned from the first time that I made this decision? The first time that I decided to not stay disciplined in this particular area with this particular problem. What happened? 
What is the lesson to be learned from it? Trust yourself, trust your mind to bring you that lesson. Once you have the lesson, then you can do the visualization exercises I mentioned. That's it. That is as simple as this is. You, this will take you 10 to 15 minutes to do by yourself. Uh, if you do it with me, we're going to lock it in even better because there's a specific set of steps that I'm going to walk you through to really lock it in and and project this type of routine, this type of discipline out into the future. So if you want to do that, just schedule a time to talk with me. Go to my website, click on that schedule fit free 15 minute call. We can do it in 15 minutes and I'll do it for you for free. For sure. I would love to do that for you. So schedule that call. But that's it for today's episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this podcast. But most importantly, I really appreciate you. I appreciate that you care about staying disciplined and leveling up in your life and business. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.